In this video, I'm going to be talking all about the 8 inch nunchucks that we have for sale at Enzo Martial Arts. I'm going to be talking all about what they're made of, the dimension of them, why they're so short, what's the point. I'm going to be talking about styles and people that will use the nunchucks. And at the end, I'm going to give you a few tips and tricks on how to get started with nunchucks. Hi, my name's Doug Swift. I've been doing martial arts for the past 33 years and I've been the owner of Enzo Martial Arts for the past 16 years. If you're liking this video and you want to see more videos like this, click the icon in the bottom right hand corner of the video, subscribe to the channel and get all the latest updates on martial arts products from Enzo Martial Arts. So let's get into this video and learn all we can about the eight inch nunchaku. So these are the eight inch nunchakus. The standard tends to be 12 inch for nunchucks, so they're a lot shorter. There's not many chucks like this on the market. They're quite rare. We used to get black ones of these, and now these, these wooden ones are the only ones we're currently able to get. So yeah, quite a rare thing, and people do tend to buy them quite quickly because it's a really nice addition to add to a nunchaku collection. And also the training with them is a bit different, so it helps expand your nunchuck repertoire, like having having these short chucks now the chain on these is about the same length but obviously you can see the chucks are a lot lot shorter so what, what's this like to train with well I find that they spin much much faster so there's just less distance I guess for the chucks to travel so they they feel really tight and compact it is a different experience training with these but it's actually quite a lot of fun another feature of these chucks is that you can just pack them really small. So, I mean, you don't really want to be carrying around nunchucks in your pocket and walking around town. That's not, not advised at all. You get yourself into trouble, I think. But if you're traveling somewhere and you're training, you're going to see a mate, you want to train with them, they're really good traveling chucks. So they fit really easily into a bag, nice and small, perfect for moving them around, carrying them. But like I said, be careful. Don't be swinging them around, having them in your pocket. You'll probably get in trouble. That short little chuck, on these is really good fun it spins much faster it feels really tight and compact and it's actually more intense training with the chucks because of that faster spin so it's really good fun really keeps you on your toes and it feels like there's a lot of pressure training with them so yeah really good fun training with the chucks so let's have a look at what they're made of so you can see this is a red oak so really hard durable wood really tough it's going to be able to take a few knock-ins so hopefully you're not smashing them against stuff or trying to smash breeze blocks anything like that but you are going to drop them you they are going to fling out your hands and fly everywhere so really good durable tough wood which is exactly what you want you can also see the two black grooves and this is just really good for grip it's really good having have, having these little notches in the nunchucks it just helps keep your hand hand on them while you're swinging them around especially if while you're training a lot and your hands are getting a bit sweaty it's nice to have those grooves now it's also got the standard the standard ball bearing chain and ball bearing link which makes a really smooth really smooth spin and really fast spin you can get those tricks you can get them spinning really really quick and really really smoothly so what martial arts styles train with nunchucks well traditionally it would be the japanese styles um i mean really it's anywhere anywhere in asia that produces rice would use nunchucks because they were used uh in in rice farming but it tends to be the japanese it tends to be like the kabuto styles that use the nunchaku but nowadays, it's not, not that many stars really. You can't really walk into a class and learn nun, nunchaku. It doesn't, doesn't really happen. You might find some karate classes, taekwondo classes, maybe some kickboxing classes that teach nunchaku on the side, especially with kids. Kids really like training with them. But really nowadays, you're either gonna have to do a private lesson with someone or just learn online and teach yourself. So most people that are training with nunchaku now are teaching themselves from online YouTube videos. So let's just have a look at the dimensions of the eight inch nunchaku. So like I said, they're a lot lot shorter. So it's standard, standard eight inches. I mean, just a little bit over, depending on where you decide to, to end, end the measurement. And if we look at the dimensions of the end, just under three centimeters diameter at the end. And obviously they taper, so they are skinnier at the, uh, at the bearing end. Just having a quick look at the weight. 
They come in about 350 grams, so obviously because of the length they're a fair bit lighter than the standard nunchucker made of similar material, but yeah, 350 grams. So at Enzo Martial Arts we have a really good selection of nunchucker, so as well as the 8 inch chucks we also have foam black and blue chucks, black octagonal nunchucker, yellow Bruce Lee nunchucker, red foam nunchucker, rattan nunchucks, hard rubber nunchucker, wooden octagonal nunchucker, and the carved dragon nunchucker. So as promised, here's a few little tips and tricks on how to get started with nunchucks. So first thing that I like to try is just spinning up, catching underneath your elbow and checking off the leg. Really simple trick, really good one to get started with. Now, if you want to play around with it, why not just try two spins? Like, do what you want, have a play with Chuck, see, see where it can take you, but just adding an extra spin just helps you get a bit more control with nunchucks and just gets you used to just playing around with it. The second trick that I like to do is just pass in from one side to the other. So pass in underneath your elbow and catching it underneath each elbow. Nice to be able to change each side of the body and pass it through your hands and get used to just catching it blind without, without looking at the nunchuck. The final trick, which is actually quite tricky with little short ones, they move much, much faster, is just spinning it from side to side around your hands, release and catching them. Quite tricky with short chucks, but really good fun, and they spin much, much faster. So yeah, good, good to get used to the different types of nunchuck. Thanks very much for watching. I hope it was useful. I hope you know a lot more about nunchucku now. If you like this video, remember to click the little icon in the bottom right hand corner of the video, subscribe to the channel and get all the latest updates on martial arts products. Thanks very much and I'll see you soon. Cheers.